what's up, going dude? on tonight? How you doing? You good? I'm good. What about you, man? Oh, hanging in there. Just hanging in there. Just uh, got done eating some. Uh, what well, we had with pork or something today? Whatever my wife made, it was it was delicious. So you do any cooking? Do you ever do any cooking? No, I'm I am not. Namath and Lensman are cookers. They're uh, they're big cookers. Mark Lensman likes. Uh, Would you have a boil with? Oh uh, my god! I had two lobsters. Don't you remember? <laughs> no, I, you, you only told me twenty times. Two. two. <laughs> oh, I've never had lobster in my life, and then Namath he hooked it up, and he had a. I don't What's know, Lensman man. like to cook pork? Lensman's a well, they raise pigs, of course. It's so pork, right? And then I think my father's doing a lot of steak, he does a lot of steak way back when, yeah. So he does, you know, he's got a lot going on too, obviously. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, they're they're uh, they're getting the job done, they get the job done. Those guys cook a lot, and I think Nick does all his own meal prep and all that too. So, okay, I think he just cooks a lot of chicken, to be honest with you. On the, on the uh, foreman. <laughs> I think he's got like a, maybe not a Traeger, but I don't know. He, yeah, he's that's what guy. I have. I got a Traeger. You got a Traeger? <laughs> Your Traeger snob? Yeah. I don't call it that. A little bit? I like to use it. it grills, it does it all. So it's, Is it pellets? What is yeah, it? It's pellets. So, I mean, it's a little different flavor than your um your traditional charcoal, you know, true smoker, but um, it does a job. With kids, it's the answer. You Do it. you think it would matter to me what you were cooking something with if you were feeding me burgers like you guys were the other day? Do you think it would matter? No. and No. But, uh, but it, just, I just want to put that out there. Would you put three of those down? I, it was nothing. Like, it was nothing. Oh, man. I mean, those burgers were delicious. And your parents, obviously, gracious hosts, as always. But, hey, quick thing. Let's start out. Go back behind your writing time clock there. Oh, yeah. Wait, what do you think about the writing time? Shout out Joe Dowd. It's uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. So he got it from a guy that trained with Dan Gable, I guess. As long oh, I have okay. to have him on that sometime. But you remember Joe? He did the boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's real uh, so get the carpet. Like it, but uh, yeah, something. Some guy. Long story. Uh, he's told me a million times, but sorry, Joe. It's okay. So we've got. Hey, what's BH? Why is there BH on? Why? Is, what's the BH? I don't know what that BH is. What's the BH? <laughs> You were so it's confused. Like barbarian hour. What are you talking about? I was like, uh, I didn't bad. have service when you guys were texting. I woke, woke up to like yeah. 30 texts, but dude, it's like you, you felt it. It's legit heavy. I mean, oh, yeah. It's crazy. you could split with it if you really wanted to. You could split with that thing. There's no question about it. Sure so, Mark Amarico went. Let's look. See how he signed it on the back, too. Show the, show the signature off. Yeah. Okay, that's 2021. There's the signature. Mark Amarico wins. So it's a battle axe. Legit. legit. <laughs> really legit. Right. Brain-busting, skull-splitting yeah. battle axe. I mean, shout out to Mark Wentz. Zombie Mark Wentz took care of us. Yeah, Amarico Glass, right, Mark? It was yeah. See him. I haven't seen him in 10 years, right? That's crazy. Was dude. he guest like five? I forget what guest. I have to look it up. Yeah. But, uh, it was great having him too. Right, right. He's okay, a- so so I think I sent you over the Kevin Randleman oh, uh, highlight good. film, like the tribute to him. So just here's my, I'll give you my quick background with Kevin Randleman. First things first, both of my brothers wrestled with him at Ohio State. Ferd is two years older than him. Chad is the same age. Right. So him that, and Chad a- won state the same year. Yeah, I mean, you and I are essentially the same age, but I was oldest. You're the youngest. I'm yeah. from his hometown, so I only hear stories. I was a little bit younger, but you like lived the. Well, yeah, I saw stuff. it all. It was yeah. wild. So here's the crazy thing about it. My brother Chad, I think, he had two losses as a senior. One to Chris Corso, Bad. who won the weight below Kevin, who was a high school teammate of his. They're back to back. They were back to back, fifty-two and sixty in Division One. Chad, my brother, won Division Two. 152 and it one of his two <laughs> listen to my brother's two losses as a senior chris corso from sandusky high who was kevin randleman's teammate and a guy from walsh jesuit named marcus malika oh geez <laughs> my brother's like yeah i wrestled him with medina and i kept like getting in on his legs and then then he wasn't there sometimes and i would shoot and he'd be behind me i was like yeah he's pretty good corso's big time in columbus now yeah, Corso's big time business, right? Yeah, big time. Yeah, uh, they live uh, right across from my 
Uh, his family is right there across the street from my parents where we're, we're on Sunday. Yeah. On Cleveland road, rod six, right? Right. Right. So random. And right. Just that. I never seen that video. I see a lot of those videos, but yeah, right. that one's sweet. Cause it's That's got really- Drake. It's got Drake song. And then, uh, um, Kevin Random and Tribute, right? I'll put it in the yeah. notes. But it, and there's another one with a Kevin Random and song. Yeah. Right. Kevin Randall, man, it's like that. Um, and it, so anyhow, I mean, um, just to talk about him, though. Um, so then he wrestled with my brothers at Ohio State. Ferd was two years ahead of him. Chad was the same year. And then I guess more, you know, so I remember him when, when he was in high school. I remember going to the 1993 Big Tens where he beat uh, Ray Brinzer in the finals. Oh, man, I remember a lot of crazy. I remember Danyasha Yetz and uh, Kerry Colat getting in a crazy, like, fist fight. I think Colat knocked him out. Mm-hmm. And then Ray Mendoza and Random are on the mat and Mark Coleman. It was wild. But anyhow, I just I just remember all these guys because, you know, my brothers wrestled with them. you have any stories? Yeah, and then I ran into Kevin. Or, uh, I ran into uh, Rex Holman this past weekend. He was on oh, yeah. Yeah, so him and him and Rex were Rex and uh, oh, Kevin yeah. Randleman were NCAA champions in '93 together for Ohio State. So, so another known little known fact: like Charlie Jones from Sandusky won it the one year Randleman won it for '92. Purdue. Yeah, they both Purdue, won it. Purdue, and he was older, but Sandusky, little old Sandusky, had two champs one year. But go on. So you ran into Holman. So I ran into Holman. We we're just talking stories. We we're talking about Coleman. We we're talking about Randleman, and um. It just can't, you know, how I mean, he's a freak. The guy was a total mutant. The video shows he's a mutant. Um, what do I have? I have the keep on believing video. Oh, geez. I have the VHS up here. I'm about to convert this and put it on our YouTube. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Is that there we go? That the look, one, look, look, that's it. That's legit. That the one Will on. Knight did. I have no, 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 no. The I have the one Will Knight gave me, and I, yeah, I have that too. Heard it. No, no, I have the keep on believing there. Um, the keep on I believing is like, day. yeah, you're what's right. What's that? This is called the third day. Sorry. Yeah, I have uh, that too. I have that uh, DVD somewhere around. Keep here. on believing. So you're gonna convert it? Yeah, I'll convert it. And then I found a Buffalo duel from 2000 in Buffalo's arena. Wow. So I'll put both those up. But um, back to Kevin Randleman. The night he passed, the day he passed was February 11th. Good boy, right? 2016. Ferdinand was born in the middle of, uh, at three in the morning on February 12th. So they passed in the night. My son and Kevin Randleman passed in the night. You know, my son was born. He passed. He uh, died of pneumonia, um, complications with pneumonia. And with him like a year prior, right? In Vegas, like you're just with him. Yeah, I was with him. Yeah, because that, yeah, within a year. No, not a year. No, was not a year. Okay. It was six, six years, five, yeah, six or seven years. I went out and hung out with Brian Keck. Rest in peace. Yes. And Sarah was with me. My wife was with me. Um, and we went to Hard Rock and watched fight. We actually run into that dude, uh, Gene. Gene used to work for uh, Blow Wrestling. Gene, Gene Stevens. Gene Stevens and I ran into one another, and he had a camera. Oh, man, I missed a golden opportunity. And you know I don't like missing opportunities. Gene was like, hey, Zeb, you should interview Random, and I have a camera you can borrow. And it was before every phone. You know, they got like a BlackBerry or something. Don't try not to, you know, throw anything at me right now. But I didn't have anything that was like capable of taking viable video, right? So I was like, yeah, and we just like hung out the whole night. Drank some beers, hung out. Keck blew a bunch of money on Blackjack. And we just talked to Kevin, and my wife had never met him before. And she was like, man, what a nice guy. Mm-hmm. And then we went out, him and his wife kind of like met us out and then it turned into like entourage and I'm all set with entourage. You know, all these like people are coming out of the woodwork and you don't know. I don't know. them. You know, they don't know me. I'm just some yokel from Northwest Ohio, right? Not how, not how a young man from Martin, Ohio rolls. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it was cool though, because we, we hung out, watched the fights and drank beers and just, just talked, man. And, you know, obviously he's a good family friend, but. You know, I got a cool picture of that. And it was a cool night out with Brian Keck in Vegas. And my favorite thing about Vegas is leaving, actually. But that was a great night. It was probably the most fun I've had in Vegas. 2015 Worlds was pretty cool. But um, being able to hang out with Random was was excellent. And like like we were talking about, 
the Iowa guys couldn't solve him, right? No, they couldn't solve him. And, you know, obviously he was a freak, right? I had Will Knight. We talked, you talked to him multiple times, but he was one of his roommates, teammates, whatever. And uh, he, he, no one outworked him, right? That, we've all seen the guy with talent. That's exactly what, what Will said, right? We've all seen the guy with talent. We have someone that has talent and works hard. That's a rare combination, right? And then on top of it, right? <clears throat> like you said, Sarah, right? What a night. Like when you talk to him, you know, you were, you're the only person in the room, right? Just a jovial person, just yeah. friendly as all could be, you know? Y- if you met him, you, you, you wouldn't forget him. Right. No, absolutely not. And just, you know, how accommodating and nice of a guy he was. Mm-hmm. And, and I mean, of course, we never fought him. <laughs> yeah, right, right. That was obviously a different story. But looking at some of those UFC performances is, is incredible. But those aren't the things that do it for me. The things that do it for me are like, I think he beat Bart Chelsevig in the 92 Big Ten Finals at Wisconsin. Wild, crazy match. How about those guys would have him dead to rights? Brinzer, Brinzer from Iowa, Chelsea Vic from Iowa. They'd have him dead to rights, and he would like, dude, the one highlight in the video where a guy has him up in a single leg and he squats down and almost touches his butt and hits a slide by on the guy. You know what I'm talking about? Will, Will talked about that. Yeah, from it his is, butt. It's right? unreal. It's Stuff unreal. You've never seen. And what's also as cool with the footage that Ohio State has is it's, um, Gables in the background, like, oh my what? <laughs> what? He couldn't believe it because his, you know, his guy's obviously a killer. Yeah, his guy's a killer, and his guy who's a killer can't, can't coach get against them. it, right? Here you have the oh. greatest coach. You can't coach it. Like, what do you, you do? Don't even know, right? What do you do? What do you, What do you? What are your memories like growing up in Sandusky? Like, you know, I obviously remember. You know, what are the legends? I guess in Sandusky about Kevin Randleman. I, like I said, I just hear the stories and, you know, badass dude on the football field too, right? Yeah, knocking people's helmets off and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, his – I just remember the one Ohio State poster. I don't even know what year, but his, his legs were just Oh, massive. my goodness. Just massive, right? Because he wasn't that tall of a guy. He was a 5'9", 5'10". Yeah, but he was just freakishly strong, freakishly – quick right just all the the intangibles that in you like you said he'd hit moves that you've never see or you never thought a human could do and um you know and then you go back like i said his work ethic but yeah i don't i don't have a ton of crazy because i don't you know like i said i was younger and i was oldest you know it'd be different if i was the youngest of four like you were the youngest right so you have your other older brothers that you're around and hear the stories i was kind of the first one so um but I have a couple of buddies that could tell some good stories, but I, I don't know them, you know, firsthand, but does, does Chad and uh, Ferd have any stories? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got up on an implement. I think it was the high bar. And he, and he, he got swinging round and round and round and round. And he kept building momentum. Couldn't price stop, Right. And he didn't know what to do. So he just got going as fast as he could located where the, they, they like set some crash pads up and he, <laughs> he let go. Well, what about the, uh, I don't know that how true that, what was it? Sean Springs, the DB. Oh yeah. They, he said he couldn't guard him. And that what it was something. I heard he like ran up the wall in the house state wrestling. Yeah. He ran up the wall around him. Dude, right. the guy, and he was an all American DB. Right. And he couldn't, yeah. Couldn't Made uh, the guy look silly. Right. Just a, right. just an incredible and a great guy too. And here's the other thing, the Collins family. Oh yeah. Oh my so God. So Roberta, Roberta was, we went a, to school a freak with Roberta. herself. She was a freak herself. Roberta can reverse grip like 400 pounds in a bench press. Oh my gosh. So I like her, I would hear these myths and folklore about Roberta Collins, who was a multiple time all American for Kent state in, in the multiple weight throws, right. shot disc weight throw free hammer throw as well. And she was a multiple time all American. She did our one year for her, her, her fifth year aid. Roberta Collins did our laundry. I don't know if you remember. Yes. 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 She was our equipment person. Such a sweetheart. Kindest person you'd ever want. Ever. To meet. Ever. Great Mama, family. And then Mama Collins. Uh, yeah, met with right. Mom Collins. Yeah. yeah. So Sweet. they, they raised Kevin a lot. Yes. Yes. Isn't that wild? And Mama, I mean, she was, you know, blue streaks through and through. You know, I mean, she'd be at the duels, right, with her sweater on. You know, yeah, she's oh, in yeah. the videos. She's in a lot of the videos, the and, highlights um, and stuff. You know, 
being at St. Mary's, we had, we'd have some nice guy friends, but you know, everyone know, knew Mama Collins. And then, you know, with our OEC football stuff, she'd always be there serving the hot dogs and the sausage at, at the, at Strobel field and stuff, you know, and, you know, making sure the kids are behaving who are there. She's just, she was just, um, man, incredible, incredible family. So. You guys got a special thing in, in Sandusky, Ohio. It's kind of awesome because it's all these, it's these three schools. Within like a mile. It's three, it's three high schools. It's, it's Sandusky High, St. Mary's, and Perkins. And they are all within like under five minute drive. And as a crow flies, probably 1.5 miles of one another. Is that right? Yeah, I think it's about a mile and a half, right? Mile and a half, I believe, all, all three. And it's those schools and then the Sandusky Bay Conference schools that surround it then. Uh, obviously, you've got Margareta. Margareta is the best pole vaulter. In the the girl pole vaulter for Margareta could win Div- Division One NCAAs. College, yeah. <laughs> As a junior. <laughs> As a junior in high school. And she's a little peanut, you know? Isn't that wild, man? Yeah. And then you got so, I mean, there's just so the- much, man. There's so much with, with what you guys have. I thought Huron's boys and I thought Perkins' boys could win track this year. Right. Yeah, I don't follow track, but Perkins is Yeah, Perkins kind of – Perkins really, really uh, struggled in the field events, and they had multiple guys and multiple events. And Solid girls team, too. Job done. Yeah, it just – it was a rough state turn, state track meet for, for Did you Perkins, ever go down to the state meet when I was in the shoe? I ran at the state meet. You, in the that's shoe. where it was? It was in the shoe. No. Yeah, I ran in Ohio Stadium for this uh, – we're seventh in the four by eight. And then I think I took 10th, 10th or 12th in the 1600. Oh, wow. So it was hot too. Dang. It was a hot day. So it was, I ran in the shoe for the Ohio State track. Meet. Right. So okay. yeah, I mean, it was. He used to coach. He coached the state runner up team in 90, I think, for St. Mary's. I remember being down there. See, track's real weird because anybody can win track. Uh, an individual can win tra- track. Uh, so like Stemmel, that, that's what it, the yep. Margaret Girl Stemmel, right? Yep. She could win the state title on her own. That's wild, right? Because I think Ayersville, I remember, no, I don't think, Ayersville had a girl who would win. She won like two or three times on her own, Defiance Ayersville, like a little tiny school. I think I'm getting that right. But she won like 800, 1,600, 3,200. And I remember the runner-up had like a bunch of relay teams, a bunch of thr- They had a bunch of people make it. <laughs> the runner-up team had like, 20, 15 or 20 people, all the coaches, everybody. Would you say she was standing with her trophy? And, they got stand, and they're holding the trophy. And then the other pictures, her, just her, none of her coaches even got in the picture. Little, right? The little tiny, like, pigeon toed girl, like, standing in the picture holding the state championship. She won the team championship. She scored 30 points. Ah. And it was wild. I forget her name, but she was Ayersville girl, I want to say. But, and it's not just her. I think that's happened a couple times, actually. Right, so, right. It's done. So yeah. Stemmel could legit win D3. That's not, I'm not oh, Zab, you're reaching. No, legit thing can totally happen. But, um, oh, another cool thing that happened in the Sandusky area this weekend. How about our guy? And a couple weeks ago, Dave Habit and Carrie Collette coming to OAC Combine. Right. What, what an experience for those kids. Yeah, it's pretty. I, I don't think that. It's one of those things, right? In wrestling, you realize, like, you look back on something, like, holy cow, that was sweet, right? Like, you don't realize it when it's happening. Like, some of these kids are going to go back, like, wow, I was with Kerry Colat and Dave Habit, you know, two, you know, high level people wrestling, obviously. But yeah, I mean, Vermillion and Mylan, um, just awesome. You know, obviously, we were both there, but pretty dang, pretty dang cool um, coming up that area this way. And, uh, getting to see what they show. Cause it's totally different, right? Dave kind of showed some top work. Right? Yeah. And then, then Carrie, you know, that was the first, well, even Dave, right. He's been training. So how many, you know, he's been coaching, he said the Dundee guys, but you know, put a camp on to someone you don't know. It's kind of, so I thought they all, they did, they both did great. You know, it was, uh, how hot was it? <laughs> it was so hot. Like the, the room at Milan at Burnett trained was like, I went through my shirt was I could have wrung it out. I was like, this is ridiculous. And then I, I interviewed uh, coach wax and we yeah. went in like the, the cafeteria area. Yeah, yeah. It was 25 or 30 degrees cooler. What, what a cool dude though. Huh? Yeah, really I went cool. outside, right? Yeah. To get relief, right? <laughs> get relief. And it was, you know, a hot day, but, uh, but they did an awesome job. Where's the next one. And who is the next one? I keep yeah, asking. But- Jody doesn't seem to know dates. July 18th. 
Let me confirm it. I'm, I'm bad with dates of myself, but it's, it's July, July. That's actually correct. July 18th. Logan Steber, Ross Thatcher, down at Ohio Crazy Goats. It's in Dublin. I think it's in Dublin. It's gonna be. It's gonna be awesome. So I, I, I think everyone's looking forward to that. Um, yeah, just opened uh, the registration for kind of you know campus over for that one. Open the next one. Um, I mean, I, I, we're super excited. You know, it's both their home. You know, um, you know, it's Ross's home gym, whatever you want to call it. You know, Tommy's. You know, Little Eagles home training facility and i know logan's oh yeah there. but water water some eagles right they use it also you know with covid so i think even logan used it a little bit too um wow some of those freestyle stuff before uh being named a coach so um what are the trials by the way tell me about the trials. So, yeah that's on the 31st then two weeks after that um, where's that at pursuit their new facility have you seen their new facility it's pursuit columbus as well yeah yeah is that jake ryan jake ryan brecken mead yep Okay. Brand new. They had a facility all this winter, but they outgrew it. So they have a brand new, huge facility. It's, it's, no, I haven't seen it. So I'm going to have to get a tour of that. I'm brand new. Um, I think it just opened in April and, um, you know, reached out to Coach Mead and he's like, yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, we have officials lined up and, you know, people have to apply or not apply. They just, you know, register. It's, it's free, but you register. I'm going to wrestle such and such weight. And then we get the entries and, yeah, we kind of have a, a mini tournament, right? So, and then that's going to determine who's on the team. So, but yeah, so far, I mean, you know, Dave Habit, like Kerry Colat, I mean, Logan Steber and, you know, Ross Thatcher, people, I don't think some of these kids, you know, realize, I think most of them know who Logan Steber are, who Logan Steber is, but Ross Thatcher, right? The guys, he's coached, right? How about he coached in one of the greatest NCAA finals in the history of NCAAs? Picture, at the yeah. greatest venue stage yeah biggest stage biggest match right yeah like i mean i don't think you can beat that one right right, right, right. kyle snyder versus Kwiatkowski. i mean i don't know if it gets bigger than that so and then uh anyone yeah, one so that's then our team. guy for uh not to change stories but yeah thatcher i mean can't say <clears throat> enough good things about him but uh same thing was hey you got a you know date open and he's like, yeah, he's like, I'll, I'll shuffle my camp dates around and, and you guys can use the room. So I'm um, super That's excited. Awesome. But then in August 22nd, we'll work on a final, uh, final camp for that. We're still trying to lock down the clinician. The, the, the Olympics is throwing everything off, right? Yeah, well, you gotta travel. Sure. <laughs> right. And that's priority, right? That's sure. priority, right. So, but um, it's going to be at the BA center. We actually just talked to Josh this morning. Nice. We're super excited. Um, <clears throat> we might go down early. Reds play at home the night before. He's a big Reds fan, unfortunately. Yeah, minor league baseball is fun to watch, dude. <laughs> it's a huge fan. I mean, so it's uh, awesome. You get that real small town kind of feel to it, but it's in like a major league stadium, and they pay him like a major league payroll. But the, I mean, it's just the caliber's minor league. You know, it's it's cool. So so besides they love the pitcher's bat too, it's like a joke. So is that your sport besides to watch besides wrestling? Is that kind of yeah, like yeah. anything Here's else? The problem though, the problem is Bally's Cleveland. See, I don't know. There's about like baseball. there was this like rights Jack, war. There was this rights war. Okay, so Bally's but has it, Indians now. Is that what it is? Yeah, and we can't watch it, so we listen to everything on the. You, you uh, literally can't watch. We it. Listen to everything on this, dude. Here's we have two Riley radios. We listen to every game. My wife, she's probably got it playing. If they're playing right now, I think they are. Um, Orioles. So listening to the tribe here. We listen to the you. tribe. That's what we do. So here's one for you over on Willow Street. Speaking of Wentz, right? <laughs> Simmons used to have it on their big. Remember they had a big screen there. Remember it was like before big screens were big. Yeah, there's a there's, big thing. Yeah. There's more stories about that. But go ahead. All right. Um, so Simmons would have the tribe on, but he'd mute it and you know put the put the radio on, and then he'd like pretend he's playing baseball in the living room. <laughs> Just imagine Simmons with his ball with his baseball oh, glove. You know. Oh my god. It was pretty, you have it blaring. I don't know. I, I've never been a huge, I mean, I'm, yeah, I root for the Indians, but I'm not a huge. Well, you're player. probably a minor league baseball fan. <laughs> Who, me? You're probably a big scrappers fan. Oh, right? I mean, if anybody. Mud hens or. Oh, no. I can't believe Sandusky doesn't have a minor league baseball team. You're it's like that the big of a city. Market dude. for it. Super small. They have a, um, something that plays out. I don't know what affiliation that plays out of that sports force. They have some kind of small wood bat league or something. No, yeah. American Legion ball. Right. 
I don't know. Ice I'm haulers sure. or something. The ice, the ice haulers. Thank you. That's awesome. Okay. Um, so so we else? are going to see. We are going to see. Logan Stever. Jan, uh, July 18th in Dublin for OAC combine number three. Anything else you got for me? Are you going to be there? You're, you're going out to see Roberts, right? You have a vacation. Coming. What's your, what's your... No, I'm around the 18th. Okay. Hey, I just got accepted into graduate school again. Nice. Trying to get another so uh, what's this ninth, ninth grad degree. <laughs> <laughs> I have the equivalent of like two and a half graduate degrees. I'm not exaggerating. Oh, is it like every couple of years you got to get another grad degree? Yeah, I'm, it's I'm just like, like you keep that. spinning your wheels and getting, you can take them and apply them towards stuff, but it's like what you're willing to pay for and not pay for and borderline Damn. a little frustrating but whatever it's what you got to do to get continuing education units but i have an under what do i have a graduate degree and teacher something or another I what's this one gonna be? i don't have a thing i don't know what's oh this one is uh this is a non-degree program which will actually give me the equivalent of three graduate degrees when i'm done with it but i only have one grad degree and this one is uh career-based intervention i have i'm going to become the career-based intervention teacher for Riverside local schools. So yeah, I'm excited about it. But this one is, um, I think 12 hours, 11 or 12 hours. So it up. I got a boatload of credits anyway. And then I have the grad degree from Walden university and teacher, teacher, teacher leadership sounds right. I don't know. I'd have to look at the degree that they conferred me. I forget. It's something like that. I, you know what else I've been getting a lot of artwork. A artwork? lot of artwork. Oh, that's the best. Little family portrait. There put it, it on is. Your door. You put it on your door. Oh, it's going up. It's going up. And then oh, we got mine goes. And then a right spider attacked me today. I got attacked by oh, a spider. Oh. A spider. I got hit up for the uh, some sharks. Lemonade stand today. Yeah, did the sharks. Stand. Well, so we got a lot going on here. Oh, oh, oh. Well, and there's also. Oh, that book when Listen. they. Uh, they ran out of the things. They kind of have um, bailed me out of the grease on hikes. Not me, but what's well, bailed bailed me out of the grease because I didn't have to grab a handful of uh, rocks or leaves and wipe for somebody who needed wiped. <laughs> bailed me out of the grease. Trust me. Um, and they, you know, that those are the individual package ones for when they they kind of adjusted on the fly and right genius. Yeah, it was actually genius. Those guys, they've learned a lot about supply chain management. Guy Seiko and the the, uh, the guys over at Defense with Charlie Agazzino and, and Gus. My guy, Dan. You know Dan? Yes, I know Dan. Dan's the man. I met him. They borrowed clocks one time, and they came, picked up clocks in the defense truck. And, you know. There's Leah. Up. Uh, Leah treats my kids like gold. They all, they all Ashley do. Seiko, obviously. I mean, those people are, you don't make them better than that. Right. And I can't believe if I'm Guy Seiko, though, I'm not hanging out in that room all day. I'm not hanging out in the Burnett train sweat box. I'm going out and sitting in the air or something. He was in there. <laughs> he sure was. He was pumped about it, too. <laughs> uh, he was like all pumped up. Oh, hey, you left me some uh, good stuff on these, too. I put one on there. I said it was in my car sitting right next to it. And I didn't. Yeah. Know, so I don't know. Or There's a, I don't know. I, I found all my uh, Johnny. We had Johnny Julius in last week. I put that yeah, up. Yeah, Johnny. How, how'd you know. feel like Johnny did? Johnny does Ohio, a good job. Ohio cast uh, YouTube there. And he did great. He's, he's dude. He, right. We had him on, right. Just yeah. Kind of similar to, um, you know, you get that feeling kind of what we talked about with Randleman, right. When you're talking to him, it's just like, positive energy yeah you're the only positive. person he's talking to right now right and uh how he related to the kids obviously you know some people, oh, he plays a lot of games but i tell you what those kids had fun and they got to work and they had fun and got to work and you know the kids left and i think we had like 40 kids there um for the first 30 for the first it was an all-day thing but kids came and went because of football and prior commitments we had 40 kids there middle session and then um I think like four or five as they were leaving there. So this is the funnest camp I've ever been to. I love like, it. And then the the parents obviously afterwards they text me, hey, this 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 the, the he's still smiling about camp, you know. And that's what you know. What we talked about keeping it fun. I mean, that's, yeah, you, know, you got to keep it kind of. 
So it was absolutely kind of him in town, and um, so yeah, it's uh, it was good to have him in town and, and um, you know, spend some time with him. And obviously, he was in and out. You know, he he went back to Aurora, but it was cool. Awesome. My wife has book club coming up. <laughs> club. What's the book? Do you do you read? I was, I've always wanted to ask that. I don't know why, but do I read? I read when I have to. Okay. I, I, I don't know. So, so this more grad school stuff's coming up. I'll read. Okay. That's that makes sense. That you're reading. Okay. My last book I read was like the chocolate candy bombers. And it was about a guy who dropped candy over the occupied, uh, one the there was the Berlin blockade. Mm-hmm. And there was the Berlin airlift. And they were dropping candy to the kids. So the kids, it gave the kids hope. Oh, that's cool. It was a Cold War book, so yeah. But um, I'm gonna get it, let her get it get get it done. Get it done. All right, man. All right. Have uh, fun with your guy. Next one. All right, buddy. Make it happen. All right. See you, bud. Later.